Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back for episode 2 and hopefully the lag should be fixed. I did do some stuff. Um, but yeah, hopefully it should be fixed. So yep, I'm gonna go ahead and pick my Pokemon now. I think I'm gonna go with the Trico because it's, first, it's good against the first gym and it's also really good against the Elite Four because quite a lot of the Elite Four is water type, the last guy and the third person. I'm pretty sure this is a check. Um, fight. Says pound. So, yeah. I'm not sure it's got the pound. I'm not sure about you other professional Pokemon players that are all like stats and actually use like growl and stuff like that. Um, me, I'm more of just like a guy that <laughs> just straight up attacks. Go for high attacks. Not anything else really. I'm not a stat SP training or anything. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed episode 1. Um, yeah, uh, sorry about the lag that happened in episode 1. It wasn't that good. Um, yeah, I had some problems with the settings. And, like... Yeah, just the settings with what I record with. And, yeah, but that's all fixed now. So it should be running smoother. Not probably the smoothest. But yeah, if you do notice that the video is smaller, that's one of the things that's helping me, like, you know, record better. So, yeah. I guess you have your father's Oh, sorry, just mumbling. Oh, I got my tree code. Yeah. After this, this play, of Pokemon, I might move on to something bigger. I might go. I might record some Minecraft, or I could maybe do some Call of Duty, um, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, stuff that you guys are into, really. But this is painfully slow. I wish I had the running shoes. But yeah. I couldn't even record some other games. I do have Fallout 3 on the PS3. So if you guys would like to see that. Um, yeah. So, it's a battle. Um, it's actually happened to me before that you, w on the way up to seeing May, and I've encountered a shiny on the way up to seeing May. It was a shiny Zigzagoon. And. I got it down to low health, and then I went to my bag, and I realized I didn't have any Pokeballs, and I was like, No! How could you do this to me? Whoever makes Pokemon, I forgot. Nintendo. And Game Freak. Studios. Um, yeah, I just remembered as well. Um, I could also do Borderlands. Let's play, walkthrough type of thing. Um... Yeah, I could just do whatever you guys request. Really, if if I can do it, you know, don't go requesting some ridiculous game that I'll be terrible at. Um, or, you know, something like that. Just record or request something like within my range, I guess. But yeah, my friend actually has a Roxio. Um, yeah, I could probably borrow that off him and record some, like, Modern Warfare 3, oh, I leveled up, or some Borderlands, or Fallout 3, all that good stuff. Yeah, actually, I was thinking about going with Mudkip, but, uh, it's too late now. Talk to this guy, gives you a potion, if you don't know that. I used to play this game a lot. I used to have a Game Boy Advance SP, which was the flip top one, and uh, yeah, that that was good. I had Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, and uh, my friend had like his really into them. He had like four or five Game Boys, and he had like four-way link cable. He had all the games. He had like two Fire Reds, two Leaf Greens. He had one emerald, he had a sapphire, he had a ruby, and he had some other games. Um, 
Yeah, I could probably do... Don't hate on me, because uh, I sort of got out of the Pokemon. I don't buy DS or anything. I could probably do the DS games, like... Um, what are they called? Black and white? No, that's a new one. A diamond, platinum, and... Something, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, it's something like that. I could do those, because my friend showed me how to get a DS emulator. But yeah, only if you want to. I mean, it's up to you really. What you uh, just leave down in the comments what you want really. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> God, level four. Wait, am I facing May at the moment, or is this a wild Pokemon? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm probably gonna die when I fight May because I'm at low, low health. I could, yeah, why not, bag, <laughs> just use a potion now, I, don't, I can't be bothered walking back to the Pokemon Center, 16 points, jeez, Pokemon, you have low health, these, just starting off levels, I never really noticed, I never really started many new games, like, my friend, well, we kind of worked together for it, it was an awesome account, it had all these m all wicked Pokemon. It had like six starters, they were all at level 100. We had Blastoise, Charizard, Venusaur, Blaziken, Marshdom, and Skeptile, all at level 100. And we had all the legendaries at level 100. We had um, Articuno, Moltres, Zapdos, Mewtwo, Batias. We only, we only ended up getting one of those because I ended up selling my ruby, I think it was, or sapphire, whichever one you get them in. I ended up selling it before I got it, before I got the legendary, I forgot, completely forgot about it, but yeah, my friend wasn't too happy because he really wanted it, and I, well, stuffed it up for him, I guess. But I mean, yeah. Well, he still had all these wicked Pokemon, like, Ty oh, Tyranitar. If you ever played the old games, they had the best Pokemon back then, man. They were sick. They were honestly my favourite Pokemon back then. All the really good ones. Tyranitar. My, my favourite's probably either Tyranitar or Alakazam, or Typhlosion. Those were my best Pokemon. I love those. I was thinking about starting off with a fire type this game, but I mean it's not really worth it. It is because it's a cool Pokemon, but I mean, Blaziken, he's just awesome. But oh, it's just frustrating doing the Elite Four with him because he has to be a really high level before you can actually beat the Elite Four. Like I can almost beat the entire Elite Four with him with oh, my old account, my old save file, I could almost beat the entire Elite Four with my level 84 one, but oh, the last person would just demolish you, he would just demolish your blaze again. You had to have an electric type or a grass type, and preferably a grass type, because the la the champion has a wish cache, and it's part ground type, so the electric type moves don't affect them. So yeah, that's why I basically chose Trico. I've never really used the Trico too much. I've never picked them actually. I've picked them once, but that was a need to get them, and I only got them to about level 30. I got a Grovile, and then I traded it over my friend, and he leveled them up because he has Fire Red, and you get bonus XP if you trade a Pokemon over to the other game, and play with him, I guess, you get bonus XP, so it'll be like, if you trade an Alakazam over from Emerald to Fire Red, it'll be like, yeah, he'll gain, I don't know, 1000 XP, plus a bonus, 500 XP, so, that's a really efficient way to level up your Pokemon, and I believe I get the running shoes here, that's, yes, finally, oh, I can't believe it, 
finally running shoes are the best or or the, either the running shoes or the bike they have to be the two most helpful items in this game it's super super good she's having a bit of an emotional moment they're overjoyed I want to go versus my dad with his level 30 slacking and slack off and Vigoroths and all those normal type Pokemon. Nothing cool, just normal. Oh, I love this guy up here. He's like, oh, I discovered some rare, fo rare Pokemon footprints. And then you talk to him, and he's like, I finished catching their footprints of the rare Pokemon, but it turns out they were only my own footprints. <laughs> what an idiot. He usually stands right here and blocks you from going out into the wilderness. Leaves us some berries up here. Or not. Um, I was thinking about catching a Routes actually, because they are the rare Pokemon on this thing, but they're just hard to level up, and they're not that worth it, they don't have a really high attack, or... And basically what I'm going for is just to complete the game, and if you guys want me to keep going, I could go for Pokedex, but I probably, I can't complete it all unless I spawn in the, um... Oh yeah, that's what I can do, right at the end... After the feed of the Elite Four, I'll spawn in the um, the tickets, like the um, the tickets to get to the islands. Um, and I'll go catch Mew. I'll catch the Oxys. I'll catch the other Lati. I'll do all that good stuff. And yeah, and then I'll probably end it after I've caught. Oh yeah, I'll catch Jirachi as well. And after I've got all those, that's going to be hard though because there's only one ma- oh no, I think there's two Master Balls in this game, isn't there? You get one at the hideout and you get one... I think there's two. I swear there's two Master Balls. But yeah, um, I'll go pretty much just a quest for all the legendaries. But yeah, um, I'm pretty sure we're at the 10 minute mark now, I'm pretty sure I started this at about well, 1.30 and it's 1.40 I guess I could make this a 15 minute episode yeah, let's just do it I'll get to um, I'll get to the next town over and then or yeah, I'll, how about that, I'll get to the next town over and then yeah and then I'll end it there I might actually record episode 3 because I've got quite a lot of spare time because it's actually I've got to actually got a day off school today because it's like a parent teacher the school's trying out a new system and yeah but um yeah I had some issues uploading <laughs> episode 1 it took me a while to get that up because Oh yeah, I recently just updated, like, well not recently, like, last night, I stayed up to like 12 o'clock, I don't know, like 1 o'clock, updating my computer, because it was running, I never actually knew that you could update your computer service pack, like, I'm, I was running Windows XP service pack 1, and I couldn't even get Skype or anything, but then I did a bit of research, because I was just sick of this computer, and I actually updated to Windows